In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can connect Resolume from your computer to the Grand MA and control it through Artnet. Just a disclaimer, this is the most unconventional way of doing this. There are many other ways that you can do this. Thousands of tutorials on YouTube, so check it out. The method I use, I just made up, really. Basically, it allows you to select your clips and adjust layer uh, intensity. So, I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna have to start a new show. In your blank show on your MA, you're gonna wanna go to patch fixture, create a layer, called Res Master. And from your library, you're gonna choose a dimmer, just a generic dimmer. And depending on how many layers you have will determine the quantity of this. So I have four layers, but you're gonna use one of uh, the dimmers as a master. So putting five in through ID 101, channel ID 101, patch break 1.001, apply. So that's in there now. I'm gonna wanna save this. Go auto create, create single. So now in a group pool, you can see you have those dimmers in here. What you wanna do is you wanna go assign twice and label these res master. Now that you have labeled them, you can go back and tap, create a new layer and call this res video. From the library, you're gonna choose another dimmer to import that and then go over to your computer. Now each computer is gonna be different, but my computer has a row of four by eight. So four by eight is uh, 32. So I've got 32 video clips in here and that's how many dimmers you're going to add to this layer. From the count that I did on my computer, 32, make it 201, 201, 1.006. Apply, now save that, go auto create, create single, and now if we go into a group, they are all there. Now, if you want to make your life easier, you can move these into an orderly fashion, which I will not do. So guys, now that you have done that and your groups are on there, you want to create a playback for action buttons. Since I only got 32, I can make this smaller. And what I like to do is just get a macro pool. You get two macro pools, one going like that, and one going like that. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna edit them, label, and in your macro, it doesn't matter what you put in there, just as long as you type something so it shows up properly. So basically do that to layer your macros and I'll show you when I'm done. So if you've done it correctly guys, you should have one, two, three, four going up and one to eight down there. That corresponds to your layers on here. So you got one, two, three, four, and then you got columns one to eight. So that's what that stands for. That's why I like to do it, just to know where I am. And this is where the fun part comes. So to actually talk to Resolume, you want to make a network control session going. So I got a session going 192.168.1.1. Uh, as for a Terminal Zero show that I got coming up, which you'll see soon in the video. In MA network configuration, you want to check your console IP is 2.0.0.1. Now in your networks, protocols page. I, I've got a Artnet node connected so that's why there's two other things here but what you want to do is you want to add auto output local start one amount one universe zero and that should be it. So to control any Artnet through the MA you need to use the second Ethernet port so that's going to an Ethernet switch one of the cables going to a cat barrel, which is going to the uh, RJ45 cable to the Artnet node. And this white cable goes to my computer. So on the computer, guys, you want to go to System Preferences, Network, click on Thunderbolt, go com configure manually, and set your IP to 2.0.0.12 or 2.0.0.10 if you haven't got an Artnet node hooked up. 
and set your subnet mask to 255.0.0.0. You can get out of that now, go to Arena, Preferences, DMX, you want to add a DMX input, I've got two going, and you want to make sure your network adapter is set to Thunderbolt Ethernet. Then you can get out of there. So by now, your computer should be hooked up with the Grand May. Just so you guys know, it doesn't work internally with the computer. If you're going to Arena to on PC, you need to have a piece of MA hardware to do control Resolume through Artner if you want to. Uh, that's the only thing you can't do is doing it inside your computer. So now what you want to do guys is to store values from your groups you made onto your executors. So you're going to select your res master, full store, and store that to a fader. So now that you've stored res master onto an executor, you want to store values for res2, res1, res3, etc. Then what you want to do, you want to label them res master, res1, res2, res3, and res4. Then what you want to do, you want to store values from your dimmers. So you just want to go through your dimmers that are assigned here, so dim1, dim2, dim3, dim4, and just go to 8, or how many ever clips you have, and then basically you make your Resolume layout. So I will do a few. So I'm going to assign these executors as toggles, which is assign and double click temp direct action. So I changed the file because I already had things programmed for the other show. Shortcuts DMX. And basically, if I didn't have these things assigned already, it would be clear. So here's your master. What you want to do, you want to say, make a shortcut. And basically, move the fader that you've programmed it to. And then you can get out of that. And when you move your fader, your master's going to move. So basically, that's how you map your Resolume to Grand Mate. I want to prove to you that this works. So, hopefully you can see I got my res master and all my other reses. And when I bring this fader up, the master output on my computer works. So that is how you assign things with Grand May to Resolume. I'll do a bit more mapping just to show you how it's done. So you go back to edit DMX. This one is going to be res 1. And this can be res 2. And I'm going to change these to that so you do that by clicking and then you just move what fader you want it to be get out edit and you can see that i have control on the vj thing and then if i select this clip and then click a clip on the grand May, it changes it i just haven't mapped this one yet so i'm clicking an executor on the ma and it changed it so Pretty cool how you can do this. It's not the best way to do it. There are many other ways. Go check out other tutorials, but this is the most easiest, and I, I found it, that it works fine for me. So thanks for watching, guys. So I hope you learned something, guys. If not, leave a like anyway, please. I need the support. Uh, support me on Patreon, actually. You'll see a lot of upcoming gigs. A little sneak peek. You can uh, download my files on there. And I'll have, I'll have this show file on Patreon, so if you support me, you can download it and have a play. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.